Hey, what's up, everybody? This is your boy, AJ Tripp, and welcome to That's the Shoot. We can literally try to show what, about what's going on in the world of professional wrestling. Until today, or days like today, when we have to do predictions for the WWE Hate Preview. Tomorrow night is the Royal Rumble, coming live on Peacock from St. Louis, Missouri. And, and what I'm guessing is what the Rams used to play in at Big Gun Dome. So, I think that is what, um, I think that's where they're going to be doing, doing the um, premium live event at. So, that's going to be good. So, we're going to be doing the predictions for this one. And I have to say, this may be the hardest card to predict. Since I've been started, since I've been doing this, and it's just because of the the rumors and the things that the speculation that is going on. We've got rumors that Ronda Rousey could be in the Royal, you know, is going to be he's going to fly to Missouri the day of and make it into the Royal Rumble. We have rumors that Roman Reigns is going to lose to Seth Rollins, right? We have those rumors. We have. Rumors about Undertaker being there in St. Louis. We have rumors of, of a, 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 a forbidden door entrant into the men's Royal Rumble. And then with the women's Royal Rumble, we have other women come back as well. We've got, you know, we, we've got Lacey Evans, who has just who has had her baby, and she's been putting things on Twitter and Instagram. But she's looking jacked coming back. Alexa Bliss is doing her little stuff. She could maybe be in there. Although, Sandra Sepp has reported that she won't be. She's going to be making her doing her stuff, you know, for WrestleMania or after WrestleMania. Um, Paige is, 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 is a legit contender because she's been talking about trying to come back into the to the ring. She's like, because everybody else is getting cleared and getting come back. She wants to get cleared and come back. Um, there is, we just mentioned Ronda Rousey, um, there's so many other surprises, there could be Trish Stratus, and so, and so, so many other things, and, uh, so it, you just never know, and then, like, if Roman Reigns does lose to Seth Rollins, does Roman Reigns go into the Royal Rumble, and then, and, and then, you know, when it or the same for Brock Lesnar and Bobby Lashley. If Brock Lesnar loses to Bobby Lashley, does Brock Lesnar go into the Royal Rumble and then have him and then he wins it? It's just it's it's unreal what's happening, and I decided to predict it. So let's go ahead and let's predict what happens at the Royal Rumble. So it's always weird when you do these, um, when, you know, when you do these shows. Normally, when I do these predictions, they're for a Sunday pay-per-view. And then we have the Friday SmackDown, which you have on tonight. So then I, I wait until the Friday SmackDown to wait to see if they announce something. And, and so, then, so then I'll be, you know, up close. But you know, I, I would think that, I would think that, that, that they would probably add a, a, a um, kickoff show a match, but that would probably be tomorrow. Yeah, let's think about it. The women's rumble is probably going to be up to an hour. Same thing with the men's rumble. Excuse me. The men's Royal rumble is going to be up to an hour. And then you have the four other matches Brock Lesnar, Bobby Lashley, Reigns, and Seth, Lynch, and Dewdrop, and then the Ed couple versus the Grid couple. So I think. You know, I would think that on the main show, these four matches would be, you know, they would be on the card. I don't, I, I don't think any of these matches would be pushed to the kickoff show. So I think, I think they would probably add a, add a match. They could add that tonight. Who knows? Uh, the Usos, I suppose, you know, they do have a number one contender with in the Viking Raiders. There is that. We also have, you know, Demian Priest against Kevin Owens. That is. Started a little rivalry for the United States Championship, and we, and Sami Zayn is supposed to have an Intercontinental Championship match, so if we could have anybody of those. We could maybe we might also have some type of other match to see who who gets in 
to, to the Rumble match. But um, I've decided that I'm going to do uh, for these Saturday shows. I think, you know, unless, unless I get burned by a big, you know, big time, let's get burned big time by doing this. I'm probably going to do the prediction show on Friday because I wouldn't expect anything to change on Friday. If anything, I was looking to change Friday, Saturday afternoon, and even still, if I did it, I do these, I do these things in the morning time. So, but so with that being said, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start predicting Edge and Beth Phoenix versus The Miz and Maurice. Now, for me, it only makes sense to have. The, the, uh, well, it makes sense to have Miz won the first one so that, so that Edge can come back and get his revenge this time. So, m many people are thinking that, that this is not going to last to the to WrestleMania, but it possibly can because you you know, why are you just doing this to Miz and saying, you know, Miz, and why is Maurice and everything like that? I know they have the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view on fe in February, but why, why are you you know, why are you doing this to the Miz? You know, and you still have a month to like build him back up and everything like that. But I, I just don't see this. So for me, even though this is Beth Phoenix's and this is their first time tagging, I would still say that this has got to be a, a, a win for the Miz and Maurice, correct? I think it has to be. So I'm going to choose the Miz and Maurice to beat the It Couple to beat Edge and Beth Phoenix, the Grid Couple. For the Raw Women's Championship, Becky Lynch goes one on one with Dujo. A heel, heel versus heel dynamic going on here, but obviously the fans, some some people in the, in the fandom in the WWE universe will still want to cheer Becky Lynch. I think that's the way they're probably going to go about it in this match. Probably have Becky maybe playing the baby face over Dewdrop. Um, yeah, but I, I I I think this may be the easiest one. I think Becky Lynch is obviously holding it to Mania. The only question is, is who is she going to face? Is she going to face Liv Morgan, which I thought the way they was going to do was doing this, so that you know Liv Morgan could finally get her her revenge over Becky Lynch. You know, get you know going to get the, her her moment. Or are you going to do Bianca Belair, which to me it seems, it seems like it was, it's not time for her to get back in the title picture. Or they're gonna go Ronda Rousey and then have her face, you know, you no know, Becky Lynch for the one-on-one -on -one match at WrestleMania, which again, but Ronda Rousey can't be no baby face either. You know, that was the that was the stuff that she said, you know, you know, in 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 real life or, or whatever. So that that's a very interesting. Interesting way they're going here, but it's got to be Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch wins here. For the Universal Championship, Roman Reigns takes on Seth Rollins. And like I mentioned earlier, the rumor here is that they're going to, that they're not going to do the title versus title, champion versus champion match for WrestleMania between Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns. And that weren't there, so uh, that one of them are gonna lose the championship this weekend to do for it for that for that to make it or at some point before WrestleMania if they do have the Elimination Chamber match it's gonna be in Saudi Arabia so they could be Elimination Chamber match for that but like I I, I like, I'll be honest, like I really just don't I, I don't and and, and, and one of the things is that they've been saying that it's going to be Seth Rollins. The Seth Rollins was supposed to win the WWE Championship uh, at day one. That's according to Dave Meltzer. Some other people have reported that it was going to be Big E retaining the championship. Who knows what is really supposed to happen. But to me, I think... I mean, you don't... You don't have Roman Reigns go 500 some odd days. Just have him be beat by Seth Rollins. The person who beats Roman Reigns is the person that you want to be the next, you know, the next superstar babyface. And and to me that that's like that 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 doesn't happen, you know. At the at the at the earliest that happens, you know. In twenty twenty three, at SummerSlam, in my eyes. 
and the latest it's at WrestleMania 40. I, I think at some point, and, and, and one point, I did say, I think Walter, I did put out there that I think Walter would have been, or Gunther now, that, you know, Gunther would have been a good, you know, shout to have Roman Reigns beat, you know, you know, be, you know have Walter beat Roman Reigns. You know, and then you can do the thing where, I don't know, I don't know what you can do, but, but still, like, it's, it's, to just have him be to be to Seth Rollins, it doesn't seem like the right idea. And it, it seems that seems close that seems very close minded. Not looking at the future. So I, I, I uh, even with all the rumors surrounding and all of the indecision that I'm feeling about this, not knowing what exactly what has happened, I think when was the last month felt like it was something where it wasn't I don't know if it was was I don't know if it was mania. I think maybe last year's mania where I was a little bit worried that maybe they would put it on Daniel Bryan or put it on Edge. You know. But it's you know, they went the right way and they kept it on Roman. And I hope and I hope they I hope they do it this time. I hope they keep it on Roman and Roman Reigns retains your universal championship. So the match for the WWE Championship, Brock Lesnar versus Bobby Lashley. Again, this one I I just don't I don't know what how they're gonna do it. I, I, again, this is another one I don't know what they're gonna do. So I I I could not tell you. I just going back and forth, but I really do think that what has been, you know, what has you know. The thing that's come out lately is that you know one of them, Lesnar or or Rent Reigns, winning the Royal Rumble seems like you know losing the title and then entering in the Royal Rumble is the way to go. So I, yeah, I think that's what they're gonna do here. So I um I'm going to choose Bobby Lashley to win the WWE Championship, and then we get the Men's Royal Rumble. Pick coming up next. Uh, obviously, you know who I picked there, but right now, the WWE Championship is Bobby Lashley. So now for the men's Royal Rumble, to me, it, it's it was Big E, and, it, and Big E seemed like to be like the only person that they really had was was really gonna try to build up to. You know, Big E. You know, he you know that he was gonna win the Royal Rumble. As an outside shot, that Austin Theory could win it because maybe Austin Theory would would would, would know would challenge um, Braun Breaker for the NXT title. They would have them wrestle at WrestleMania, you know, because those two might be the future of the of the you know the business. Uh, is the future of WWE? But no, nobody else seems like unless it comes out to be a surprise winner. A super surprise winner. I don't know, and and then of course we just talked about it. One of the champions losing the title and entering the Royal Rumble. I think that might make the most sense. So, I think the winner of this, I think the winner of the WWE Championship match, probably Lashley. You no, know, that makes Brock Lesnar the. The one and only, the one and only choice for the men's Royal Rumble. So I'm going to choose Brock, Brock Lesnar. It's uh, I have no idea what they're gonna do, but I'm gonna choose Brock Lesnar. And finally, for the women's Royal Rumble, but right, there's this Liv Morgan, this Bianca Belair, Charlotte Flair. That's a good shout, Charlotte Flair, because then she could you know choose her own thing. And you know the again another rumor is that the Royal Rumble. Uh, the WrestleMania match for SmackDown is going to be Charlotte Flair versus Sasha Banks. So, that could be interesting. Um, but then there's Ronda Rousey. And boy, I, I was I was all set to go with the underdog, Liv Morgan. Just because I think that's just really, really the right, right way to go. But now with the rumors of Ronda Rousey, you know, Turn around. 
and and and, and but, but even though both Charlotte and Becky are heels, and and, and Rosenface has to be a heel, that's not. They don't particularly care. They're going to book the match that they want to, and just like now with Becky and Dewdrop. So, listen, I'm going to go ahead and say it's Ronda Rousey, and hope for the best. So again, my my prediction for Royal Rumble: The Miz and Maurice beats Beth Phoenix and Edge. Becky Lynch retains her Raw Women's Championship. Roman Reigns will retain his Universal Championship. Bobby Lashley will conquer the Beast and get once again the WWE Championship. Then the Lesnar will conquer the Royal Rumble. And he will make his opportunity to win the Royal Rumble. And then Ronda Ron Rousey will win the Women's Royal Rumble. That's how I see it. Let's see if that happens. Something like that happen. All right, y'all. Why don't you comment down below? Tell me what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think about my predictions. Tell me your predictions. Think about what you think about all the rumors swirling right now uh, at the Royal Rumble. Let me know down in the comment section. And once again, if they announce another match tonight, uh, maybe I will put, I will uh, put my pick for that one in the comment section. So you guys will know my pick for the, if, the, if there's a match made or announced tonight. All right, y'all. Thank you guys so much for for watching. Push your uh, it's your boy AJ Trip signing off. Word. As always, be good to each other, y'all. Be careful out there. And I am out.